Hello everyone and hello YouTube. Uh, this is Mia with EOS Marketplace News and I'm here to give you the latest updates and news on blockchain. Now for today, we'll go through some of the featured articles at the website preferredcurrency.news. But before we do that, just a quick reminder that we are not financial advisors and we highly recommend that you do your own research regarding the information we provide for you to make decisions for yourself. Now, this channel, ES Marketplace News and PreferredCurrency.News is simply a gathering of the rumors and research available online each day. Alright, so let's go to the featured first featured article uh, for today. Now, it is about an in-depth look at the KeepKey cryptocurrency hardware wallet. And to know more about this, let's go to the content of the news. All right. All right. Now, according here, now keeping cryptocurrency safe is a fundamental part of participating in the digital economy, and hardware wallets have become popular security solutions. Now, these days, there is a slew of devices on the market, each with its own options and features. One of these is the KeepKey Wallet, a product that has been well received by digital currency investors over the last three years. Now, earlier this week, I took a look at the KeepKey Hardware Wallet, a device that allows users to store multiple cryptocurrencies in a secure fashion. KeepKey is sold for 129 US dollars per device, which is more expensive than the Ledger Nano, Cool Wallet S, and Trezor One. Nevertheless, the small rectangular device is more pleasing to hold, and the screen looks very nice when the KeepKey is operating. The case the KeepKey comes in is packaged well and resembles an unopened. Apple product. Now, KeepKey, Cool Wallet, and the Ledger all have well packaged boxes compared to the Trezor One packaging. Now, here the black KeepKey box is sealed in plastic wrapping, and when removed, there's also a piece of tamper resistant tape holding the box closed. After inspecting the tape and making sure the box has not been opened previously, a knife is needed to cut the tape's seal. Inside the box is a keep key, a 12-word seed card, a USB cord, and some warranty information. The keep key has a plastic anti-scratch film laid over the device's screen and is encased in black foam. Keep keys large OLED screen is pleasing to look and is probably one of the device's best features. After opening the keep key, I headed over to the company's Getting Started page and downloaded the keep key application for Google Chrome. Keep key only works with Chrome, but it's the same with most hardware wallets now. Now, after installing the application to Chrome, the platform asks you to plug your KeepKey in to get started. Immediately after initiating the KeepKey, it required a firmware update and would not start the process of initiating a seed until the firmware was downloaded into the device. Removing the USB cable from my KeepKey was an uncomfortable feeling and it took a bit of force to insert and remove the cord compared to other devices. Ledger Nano is probably the best as far as connecting the cord with a Trezor One following behind because my Trezor device has always had a weird connection feeling as well. However, after using this or after using the USB connection a few times with a keep key, connecting was easier and got more comfortable to insert over time. Now moving on. The KeepKey begins by initiating a new device name, SID, SEED, and PIN. 
the program makes you double check the pin twice and then asks you to write down the seed phrase which is located on the device itself. Unlike other hardware wallets, the KeepKey does not require you to double check the 12 word phrase. After this process, you are guaranteed access to the first account which is dedicated to Bitcoin Cash. Now in order to add the other cryptocurrencies, there is a drop down menu that allows users to add Bitcoin, Doge, um, LTC, Ethereum, plus a range of ERC20 tokens. Now, unlike other hardware wallets, KeepKey needs to be plugged into view accounts and they can't be seen when the device is disconnected. After the initial seed has been set up, I created a Bitcoin Cash wallet to send myself some funds. Anytime I test a new wallet, I always send a small fraction of crypto just to make sure the application is wor working properly. The wallet immediately saw the transaction. You can view confirmed and unconfirmed transactions in a separate window that's tethered to a block explorer. Now, the KeepKeys interface is fairly int intuitive and you can change things like the pin or use the wallet's in-client shapeshift option within the settings section. Sending and receiving is simple and the actual device itself is used for signing verification while also showing sending or receiving addresses on the screen as well. Now, following the transaction, I decided to look at the client's shape shift integra integration. KeepKey is owned by the firm shape shift AG and was one of the first hardware wallets to offer trading abilities within the wallet. Recently, however, ShapeShift has changed the platform's business model to a membership exchange and all KeepKey users have to register using the client. Now, the required items needed to use ShapeShift include a verification or verified email and the user must submit a photo ID to trade. All of these tasks can be done through the KeepKey client and a quick email verification. After the account is processed, you can trade on the Shapeshift exchange in wallet using the quick or precise trading options. Overall, the Keep Key operates fairly smoothly and I didn't really have any problems throughout the setup and funding the device. The Keep Key's user interface is more comfortable to move around and use than the Ledger Nano. And Keep Key operates similarly to the Trezor One. Unlike the Trezor or Ledger, the KeepKey uses one button navigation but still works fluidly with the wallet's tasks like sending and receiving. The device doesn't have support for too many cryptocurrencies right now and other products offer a greater selection. But, after, but as far as the coins it does hold, the KeepKey offers an easy to use operating system and is just as secure as its competitors by using similar OPSEC techniques. All right, so what do you think about the KeepKey hardware wallet? Let us know what you think about in this device in the comment section below, all right? So, um, so that was the first featured article for today at preferredcurrency.news. Now, this information is presented for your news review and educational entertainment. Alright, so always stay tuned here in our channel for more updates. Okay. Alright, so now um, here is a great website where you can get alerts about your EOS transactions. Let's go to the link here. Alright. So here at eosauthority.com slash alerts, you can get alerts for transactions on your account such as incoming and outgoing transfers, changes or additions to the keys, 
um, airdrop sent to the account, actions authorized by the account, or any ECAF arbitration notices. Also, um, you can learn more about alerts in the FAQs below. All right. Now, EOS Authority also performs as a block producer. Now, EOS Authority deals professionally with technical matters of, or issues of arbitration and governance. All right. Here. Also, the site offers to monitor EOS activity and set up account alerts. Simply, you can just fill up um, your Ethereum wallet address and find out your EOS account and start balance on the main at launch. All right. Also, um, you can most easily or you can get the latest EOS marketplace news from the experts. You can just subscribe here at preferredcurrency.news. Okay, here. So if you want to receive um, daily newsletter directly to your email a day ahead of our broadcast, you can just scroll down here and click PayPal. For only $15 per month, you can do that. That's um, US dollars. Or you can pay at Coinbase with your preferred cryptocurrency, four hundred eighty dollars per year, um, which um, with your favorite cryptocurrency handled by Coinbase. All right. Also, um, you can advertise what you have for sale in exchange for EOS, and also what you would like to buy. So let's go to um, some of the websites here. So, um, if you have any vacation rentals, um, real estates, boats, or services available in exchange for EOS, um, you can post it here. Now, the site is very accessible and it doesn't require any membership fee. Right. So, all you need to do is um, type in the item, the um, description of the item, and of course, your contact information. And also, um, you can get the latest news on blockchain simply by going to the website pcn.today. Okay, so let's just... Alright, here. So this is what pcn.today looks like. Alright. Here. Also, um, you can go to this um, site at marketplace.pcn.today to place your additional listings here. So, um, here you can search um, by categories or using a keyword here. There are many categories here such as automotive, electronics, jobs, pets and animals restaurants and cafe and other services also here they have an advertisement section where um, we have two types of ad listings one with grids here that's the grid section and the other one with list view okay and here's one example so this is a grid view here also they have or we have ads locations section where you can add your desired locations and there is no limit for the locations so do it as you would like to okay also you can go here if you want to uh, be a web subscriber at preferredcurrency.news and now you can most easily get an EOS account for 99 cents um, simply by choosing the application called EOS Links in your Google Play Store or in your App Store. All right. 
And also, we have good news for you. Now, the publisher of PreferredCurrency.News would like to connect with you personally. Now, you can contact Donald the Guru through his phone number at uh, one 801 8105 or on WhatsApp at one 801 4716939 or on Telegram at News, and you can also follow him on Twitter at Preferred Crypto. Alright. Now here, you can uh, mostly become an affiliate and earn your crypto each month simply by um, going to the link here or you can go to our website on the upper right corner you'll see the affiliate so you just click that one and you can invest your time in our affiliate program and earn affiliate commissions for seven levels deep okay so I think our rather that was it for the first featured article that we have today now I'll be back later on for another article all right now um, don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button to get more updates from our channel this is once again Mia and I'll be back later on